Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. I have spin a mail call today, but this particular mail call is really special. That's because it is from Orange Modworks Singapore. I'm going to crack this open and share a little bit more details about this spinner with you guys. There we go. This is the Orange Modworks cog style spinner. I don't think there is a name for this spinner, but it is really interesting to see a spinner made by a company that specializes in manufacturing Nerf accessories and aftermarket parts. They are not the only ones that are doing it. Worker, another company from China, is doing the same thing as well. And word has it that Artifact, also another company in China, is dabbling in spinners as well. But the difference is that it is not for sale. And these are gifts for certain individuals and I am super honoured to be one of those who actually received this. Look at that, it's pretty cool. Made out of stainless steel and honestly speaking, it spins pretty darn well. It is a cork style spinner after all, but very nicely weighted, pretty nicely balanced as well and very surprising coming from the fact that Orange Mod Works does not specialise in spinner designs. They specialise, like I said, in Nerf aftermarket accessories and parts which is really cool let's just talk a little bit more about this spinner and i will not be giving you guys a review because this is not for sale yeah i just wanted to share this with all of you because i feel really honored so thank you so much terry from orange mod Works singapore and of course the orange mod Works team wow very nicely made buttons look at that these are pretty solid though really solid i like it good buttons good buttons this is surprising. There is a concave here and then there's a laser etching of the Orange Mod Works logo which provides quite a nice grip. There is a little dimple that sticks up in the middle. That's, that's weird. It's not apparent on this side. It's just on one side. There's a little dimple that sticks up. That feels a bit strange. There are some scratches here and there. Uh, you can see that finishing is not really that good. This got bumped. And yes, it is a 608 bearing spinner. Not sure what the bearing retention method is, but it does look like there's some kind of an adhesive on the inside. Very interesting machining marks. And then a lot of scratches. Really strange. <laughs> I don't really care much about the QC of this product because it is not something that is for sale. And at the same time, it is a gift to me. So I'm not going to complain. The edges here are surprisingly not as sharp as I thought they would be. The gear teeth are cut off at the end, so it's kind of flat. But on the side, it is angled inwards a little bit. So that helps to make the edge not as sharp. Yes, it's still a hard edge. And you can actually see all these concentric circles or these circle marks here. They actually add some kind of a nice texture <laughs> when you actually feel it. But yeah, the edges don't really feel that sharp. Why this is so cool to me is because I've been, I guess, active in the Nerf community for like, what, seven, eight years now? Yeah, eight years at least. And it is really cool when, you know, one of the first few aftermarket companies, Orange Mod Works, decides to try the hand at spinners and at the same time not make it for sale just give it away to certain individuals and I think that's really really nice and personally a lot of my interest has moved away from Nerf and into spinners as you guys can tell by the upload rate of my spinner reviews and the upload rate of my Nerf related videos. Yeah, you don't actually find any Nerf related videos in this channel because I'm running a separate channel for that. I like to keep all the Nerf related stuff on that channel itself. If you're interested, I'll put a link at the end of the video in the end cards and in the video description so that you guys can check it out if you want to. I will also put links to Orange Mod Works website and Facebook page here in this video in case you guys are interested. I just really wanted to take this video and share this with you guys because I find it really cool and I'm really, really thankful. This is kind of like a token of appreciation from Orange Mod Works to me. But at the same time, this video is a token of appreciation back to them for sending me this. This is really cool. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to get one of these. I didn't even know that Orange Mod Works was making spinners. I only saw from Instagram that June was making 3D printed ones because they actually have 3D printed accessories. So, you know, they tried their hand at 3D printed tri style spinners and I was like that's cool but I never knew that they actually made this cog style spinner and it's really nice uh, it's actually quite fun to play not as sharp as I thought that it would be and not too heavy it's a good heft and the fact that it is a disc spinner doesn't really get affected by the gyroscopic effect and last but not least they got laser edge buttons they basically covered almost everything that a standard spinner maker would this is almost like a <laughs> I, I even dare say that this is a product that I think a lot of people actually would put out in the market to sell. So Orange Mod Works, you guys, 
Good job, man. I <laughs> I didn't expect you guys to make such a good spinner. Like, honestly speaking, this is a spinner that is like worth, because it's all stainless steel with the buttons and everything, it is worth about 40 bucks in the market right now. Like, personally, this spinner will easily hit the market at about 30 to 40 USD. It's really cool because it is a functional spinner. Look at that. Very, very well balanced. You know, everything is just well made. I'm really surprised at this. So I'm actually really laughing and I'm speaking with a huge smile on my face because I'm just really, really surprised at this. Like, yeah, like this would be, yeah, $30, $40. I think people will just snap it up. It's really interesting though. So uh, I'm not trying to give you any ideas, Orange Mark Books, but if you guys want to make spinners, I think you're in the right direction. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I just really wanted to share this cog style spinner with you guys made by Orange Marbles because it's like two of my biggest hobbies, combining powers or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, which reminds me, I still got to finish up that Orange Marbles video that I did. Sorry, Terry, it's been a while. I got to go get my ass down to filming. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, this is Orange Mod Works, guys. I'll put links in the video description. But if you are a Nerf enthusiast, then this name definitely is going to be familiar to you. There's no way you wouldn't know who Orange Mod Works are if you are interested enough. Alright, so I'll catch you all in the next slice of my life. Bye!